This screencast work, it goes over how to simplify rational expressions, including complex fractions. We'll start first with just some basic rational expressions. Let's say I have, for example, x squared minus 49 divided by 3x minus 21. Like when we multiplied or divided, we want to actually go ahead and factor x squared minus 49 factors into x plus 7 times x minus 7. 3x minus 21 factors with 3 times the quantity x minus 7 because 3 goes into both 3 and 21. We are going to look for common factors in numerator and denominator. In this case, that's the x plus 7. And that leaves me with x plus 7 on top divided by 3. Similar example, a squared plus 9a plus 20 divided by a squared minus 25. Once again, factor, numerator factors into a plus 4 times a plus 5. Denominator factors into a plus 5 times a minus 5. Again, looking for a common factor, this time that would be a plus 5. And remaining we have a plus 4 over a minus 5. Now when we get to a complex fraction, we have fractions within a fraction. For example, I have x squared plus 8x minus 33 divided by x squared minus x minus 6 over x squared plus 10x minus 11 divided by x squared plus 9x plus 14. It helps to think of this really as one big division problem. We have a fraction in the numerator. We have a fraction in the denominator, which I have circled. And if we think of this as a division problem, that means we can rewrite this as multiplication. So I can write x squared plus 8x minus 33 divided by x squared minus x minus 6, change division to multiplication, write the reciprocal of the second fraction, x squared plus 9x plus 14, divided by x squared plus 10x minus 11. And once we've done that, we can factor. Numerator of the first fraction factors into x plus 11 times x minus 3. Denominator of the first fraction factors into x minus 3 times x plus 2. Numerator of the second fraction factors into x plus 7 times x plus 2. And denominator of the second fraction factors into x minus 11, excuse me, x plus 11 times x minus 1. Again, cross out factors that are in numerator and denominator because they reduce the x plus 11, the x minus 3, the x plus 2. And we have left x plus 7 in the numerator divided by x plus 1. Seeing another complex fraction, this one would be x squared plus 4x plus 3 divided by x squared plus 6x plus 8 divided by x squared plus 9x plus 18 divided by x squared plus 7x plus 10. Now usually when a complex fraction is written out or typed out, the bar dividing, the fraction bar dividing the two fractions is either bolded or it's a little bit longer. So sometimes that can help us. Again, I am circling my two individual fractions so I can think of this as top fraction divided by the bottom fraction. I'm going to rewrite this as a multiplication problem. x squared plus 4x plus 3 over x squared plus 6x plus 8. Change division and multiplication. Write the reciprocal of the second fraction, which is x squared plus 7x plus 10 over x squared plus 9x plus 18. Time to factor. We get x plus 3 times x plus 1 in the numerator of the first fraction. Second uh, denominator of the same fraction is x plus 4 times x plus 2. Numerator of the second fraction, x plus 5 times x plus 2. Denominator is x plus 6 times x plus 3. Again, canceling out factors that are in common in numerator and denominator. x plus 3, x plus 2. And that looks to be it. So I have left in the numerator x plus 1 times x plus 5 over x plus 4 times x plus 6. And that would be my answer. And that concludes this screencast. Thank you. Have a great day.